Hi, this is Arlene. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a top blogger for Fanbox.com. I want to create a show about dating, relationships, and life in Los Angeles. This is my fun-loving friend Gina, who is a career-driven woman and who loves to let loose outside of the office. This is my friend Miles, who is a friendly and cool entertainment correspondent and host. These are my friends, and we are the women of the Melting Pot, where women of different ethnicities and ages come together to discuss various life topics. In this episode, we discuss dating. Please don't forget to leave us your comments or feedback, and join our Facebook fan page. Enjoy the show. What's going on? What's going on with you guys? I ran into my roommate this morning on my way over here. Really? And she was like, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, about what? She's like, well, you know, I just started dating Chris. She finally met his friends last night. Oh, how did that go? Uh, she said it didn't go good at all. She said she didn't understand any of the jokes they were telling. They looked at her like she was just, you know, not a smart girl. She was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What were you doing? What if you were dating somebody um, that was just, just you know, their friends just didn't like you. I mean, if I was treating the person right, I don't think their friends should really have a say in our relationship, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It would be awkward when the friends are around. Can, I mean, it would be hard to hang out with everyone, but, you know, so I would try to be cordial, definitely with the friends, regardless. Yeah, but it's tough. I mean, especially if he's going to come home and then complain about what Jack or Joe said about, you know, um, mm-hmm. her or him. Right. How, how is she going to keep, like, a straight face and be like, oh, yeah, I don't mind your friends talking bad about me. Right. Cause some tension, right? Mm-hmm. Especially with him, though. He has to, he gets all the backlash from you and then from the friends. So, uh, have you guys ever been in that situation um, where someone's actually kind of talked you out of a relationship? Mm-hmm. Like your friends talking you out of a relationship? Yeah. yeah. Like maybe they're trying to warn you about some guy or something. How would you listen to them? I think my friends, they can tell me, but I think they should just guide you guide you to make the right decision. Like, let you know they should trust you and not as a person. Exactly, they're yeah. your friends. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And let, I, the only reason I think they should totally step in is in case like it's abuse or something crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's, as adults though, it's, you're right, it's like you, you're, you walk a fine line between losing a friend and being there for a friend. So, right. um, I've been in both um, positions where friends are trying to tell me, you know, watch out for this guy, just, his intentions don't seem that right, you know. and. But my heart's just all full of butter, you know, and I can't right. listen to reason until I he burns me enough times, and then I'm like, ah, that's what they were talking about. Right. And the friends I love, you know, I try to tell them, I'm like, you know, watch out. But I think my role for a friend is just to be there even when everything falls apart. Because don't you want your friend to be the happiest? Yes. No matter what they are. You can yeah. yeah. say <laughs> someone and, like you're not happy about it, right. but if they're happy, mm-hmm. right. you usually take a step back and be like, why are they happy? Right. And not be selfish and think Bash just about the that. reason why you don't want that one person. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Yeah. I, I actually have a friend like like that right now. Um, I mean, I love her. Yeah, she's like one of my best friends. And mm-hmm. she's just dating this guy that I just, I mean, I'm not going to say anything to, right. to her about it because as long as, as long as like yeah. she, he's she's happy if she's happy you know, mm-hmm. you know I can't until like it. until you know something horrible right or know right. something that like makes you be like okay I'm walking up for my friend right mm-hmm. you know what would you guys do like if you walk into a restaurant and you see your best friend <laughs> guy <laughs> I mean yeah. I don't know I'd have to tell my friend yeah I'm sorry I I'd like right. I would go punch the guy <laughs> wow. <laughs> Walked in, your best friend's guy was saying it to a little girl. All of you would walk up to him, right? Yes. Totally, you know, yeah, like, right. why not? That's made a good friend, yeah. 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 So, I mean, it wouldn't even, I don't know, so, mess up. so we would we all agree, we'd all tell our friend, yeah. Uh, it was a bad situation, absolutely, right? Totally, yeah. Yeah. totally.